What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Fallout 76 is undergoing maintenance right now, but we just got the patch notes for the update that we have here, October the 22nd. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. It looks like we got a two and a half a gigabyte update for Steam, 15.7 for the Microsoft Store on PC, 19.8 for the Xbox, and 15.1. For the PlayStation, but let's get in here. Oh, I saw some people commenting about this, and it does look like the Power Armor HUD compass will now properly display items, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, fixed an issue where various combinations of torso and jetpack skins would cause selections to change upon entering the Power Armor. Secret Service Armor gives scrap when scrapping it and fixed an issue where having multiple mining helmets could cause the lamp to not function. That's, that's a strange one. Um, the best builds feature, and I'd like to see more work done with this best builds feature, but we've got the submission window has been updated to include an icon for the featured photo. I haven't really used it a lot, but I do see a lot of those out there in the world. And there are a lot of things that I would like to see done with them. But I do, I, I am happy of how they have this best build fit feature. And I'm happy to see what they have planned for that feature going forward. But like I said, I definitely would like to see some work with it. Then we've got an update for the camps and the workshops. The pheasant plushy workbench preview now faces the correct direct. Oh, nice. Okay. All players in possession of the plan, the herds bell basic can now craft the bell at the tinker's workbench. Fixed an issue where some variants of the Blue Ridge pit stop. Oh, I wonder if they're going to do the carbine for this one. Um, would replay VFX upon fast traveling back to camp. Uh, let's see. Pioneer Scouts recruiting posters not displaying property. Red new cola chimes are now correctly playing audio. Nice. Non-functional power connector from a watch post, watch, post, watch post camp structure. Words are hard. Word salad. The jumpy juice company team machine now properly states it generates tea. Workshop got adjusted the preview icon for the atomic roller machine to be less zoomed out. Fixed an issue where the objects could clip into the performance stage, metal and performance stage wood structures. I wonder if that would be cool that you could kind of clip into stuff like that. I didn't really hear anything about that. Fixed an issue where the vault Tech Fusion Core charger did not display properly after being broken and repaired. Uh, Triumph Terrace from the track house's name. Small flatbed crafting resources have been adjusted uh, to one concrete, two steel, three wood. One, two, three. It's easy as that. The Triumph Terrace screen doors uh, now has sound effects. Whoa, that's cool. Uh, straw goats now properly craftable for players who learned a recipe previously. All right. Caravans. All right, let's see what they got with the caravans. Fix several areas where the Brahmin could. Oh, let's go. I noticed in the PTS that they had fixed a few of the pathing bits. I didn't know we were going to get that this soon. Let's go. Oh. I wonder if they're the reward things in here. Um, fix an issue where hurry and Brahmin could hurry all active care. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't. Know. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, fix an issue where the additional Yagwa would spawn after defeat the Yagwa objective. Which hey, more Yagwa never a problem. But remember, children, don't feed the Yagwa. I uh, fix several areas where the Brahmin could become stuck. Prevent. Okay, another one of those could. There was like there was a few spots, uh, and I'm so happy to see that being a thing. Uh, fixed an issue that would allow players to get full supplies. Oh, let's go! Oh, wait, wait. I read that as the rewards. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, they're talking about this. Oh, that thing. Okay, okay. You know what? I like. You know what? It's been out for a while. You know what? Hey, I. You know what? it's working as intended. But my brain thought it was like that. We get more rewards from doing other people's stuff. But yeah, I mean, look, get it working as intended, but make sure to fix everything else the way it should be working as intended, you know, as in getting in and out of a power armor set uh, and some other things. Challenges, completing a caravan will now probably count towards the complete an event. Uh, I thought that was, huh. Oh, to the group challenge. Okay. Uh, supply. Oh, okay. It is. It is. Okay. Supply payout for helping caravans have been increased. Small ones of four. Um, twelve twenty. Uh, for the large. Uh, let's see. Failed a caravan. Give you three supplies instead of one. Okay. Well, look. At least it's twenty. Uh, at least it's twenty instead of like the low, low, low amount. Um, combat basher, modern renegade, and twisted muscles. Now they should reference the proper perk enforcer rank. Now one can cripple enemies. Uh, fix the case where AP. Oh, this is good. This is good. A lot of players have been experiencing this, and this is definitely good that they are fixing that issue. 
Address the issue where the tenderizer perk could result in more damage than intended. The legendary explosion mod now applies bonus to it. Oh, I didn't know it wasn't doing that. Um, adjusted the damage caused by a poison cloud from toxic blood mutated enemies. Players should expect the poison cloud to be weaker at lower levels and the poison effects drop off faster. Okay. Uh, combat balancing. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff here. We're like, just look, like, look over at the side. The way they, the way they scale these pages, I didn't realize it was going to be this much. Um, increased damage from lesser devils. Alien invaders have reduced health, reduced daily op, uh, damage in daily ops, slightly lowered the duration of the slow effects. Uh, reduce the range uh, at which the slow effects accumulates of the floater freezers uh, freezing breath. Uh, floater freezers freezing breath will reduce damage of that. Uh, and the fire breath, reduce cryo damage from the floater freezers blast. Uh, let's see, reduce damage from floater gnashers bite attack. Adjusted damage uh, for the following beta gamma laser mods. Laser gun ultrasight. Um, while these weapons are still being evaluated for overall balance, these particular mods <clears throat> overshot the current target for fire damage mods especially when taking into account the recent adjustments to creature health and resistances uh, and are being brought in line with similar mods for other weapons. This allows more consistency among weapons and mods when making future changes. Okay. Like I said, hey, make it work, you know, make it all work out. I don't mind. Um, the creature balance. The creatures below will generally be less threatening at mid-levels. Uh, ooh, from 35 to 75, but should be a bit tougher towards level 100. Now, if they're anything like what we saw in the PTS, Lord of Mercy knows. Uh, at the tail end of the caravans. Um, let's see, engaging in first time met, this resistance have adjusted in the way that uh, it's now more valuable to explore which damage types they are weaker to. Uh, so I'm not going to list out that entire list, but you can read, right? That's 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 right there. There's a lot of names to go through there. I mean, you know what? Let me, let me um, just see. And if, yeah, some of those, yep, some of those are on the list of the PTS. Yep. That's uh that's what that's what we spawned at the end of a caravan. Uh and it was absolutely tanky on a stream. The events, the powerhouse of the sale addressed several issues where okay, so a lot of people were having problems with the powerhouse of the sale. Uh so absolutely positively it looks like that has been addressed as far as that goes. Hopefully uh that is fixed for everybody. The Project Paradise teammates fast traveling to a team a leader who is participating in this event will no longer spawn stuck inside of the central reactor. That's good. Uh, load bearing. I never had a problem with this one um, that I'm aware of, but fixed an issue where players could be blocked from. Oh, dude! I actually, yeah, no, that, I hadn't seen that one in a long. I thought they fixed that a while back. Yeah, that's been a minute since I've seen that happen, where it basically blocks you from entering. And we had to sit out there for like 10 minutes while letting the event clear to do a mutated event. Yeah, I thought that got fixed a long time. I hadn't seen that in a minute. But, I mean, like, Lord knows. Hey, at least they got it fixed here and it's black and white. There we go. Uh, out of the blue, fixed an issue where obtaining the caravan camp notes before starting quest could break. Okay. What about the what about the car beam? Uh, but I did see a lot of people mentioning this, so that's good that they got that. Uh, potential Rust Eagle banner is now properly displayed. Fixed an issue blocking uh, where Saul uh, would not execute Crane when prompted. Okay. Uh, I chose to take care of that this past week. Uh, not this past weekend. The weekend before went on a new character. I fixed an issue where the weekly repeatable kill spooky scorch challenge was missed in the star icons. Updated potential rewards for public events. Clowns that were spawning near foundation uh, notice have been returned to the circus. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm going to be real with y'all. I have been thinking that there's been some wild wasteland update coming because of all of this craziness that we've sen been seeing, like with clowns and stuff like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, Don't. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I just saw it. Yep. Uh, they went ahead and changed the way magazines work. Um, I thought we had at least this double XP event. Uh, to utilize all the magazines that we uh, have traded and bought up uh, from uh, shops out there in the wasteland. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of differences uh, to the way magazines work now. <clears throat> so, if you had Live and Love 3s um, that you bought from traders out there in the wasteland uh, or that you traded for or Backwoodsman 6s, um, yeah. Uh, those two now don't affect the, like, food effects. They just affect the healing, uh, rather than all of the effects from those foods. And we've got a bunch of other stuff, uh, here as far as changes to magazines. Uh, if you can tell in my voice, I'm not excited. 
about the changes to magazines. Um, you know, they've been working the way they have uh, for a very, very long time. Again, if it's not working as intended, make it work as it is intended to work. But, uh, you know, it's another one of those things that, hey, if it's been working that way for that long, maybe change the way you have it worded on your end and just let it work. Uh, but yeah, like I'm, like I said, I, while I don't enjoy that at all, um, I'm definitely the type of person that I would rather see things working the way it is intended to work. And as you can see right here, Backwoodsman 6 and Live and Love 3 far exceeded the intended level of benefit for the magazines and have been adjusted to match their original effect of boosting healing from food items. Backwoodsman 6 prior change in the once upon and once in a blue moon update had been made an error and we apologize for the confusion. And I get that. Look, I, I absolutely get that. We're all human. We make mistakes. And I want things to work as intended, right? I want things to work as intended. So if that's the case, make it work as intended, but make everything work as intended. Uh, let's see, milepost zero. There is a lot of stuff on here. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we're milepost zero. Fixing an issue where players couldn't uh, could cause players to not be able to hire new employees. Uh, stairs were not appearing. Military thing. Axel probably give players snow go plan. Uh, NPC snow go plan uh, after a player already received them. Yeah, we got a few of those. Theo now gives snow globe. Uh, let's see, fix an issue that called Marlo snow globe. Uh, every time you start. Yeah, we got that. Uh, let's see, Inky's dialogue would display incorrect text in French and German. Uh, let's see, fixed a uh, mismatch between voice lines and axles, uh, axle Spanish and French. Issue where Inky upgrade options were not consistently appearing in Marley's dialogue. Remove duplicate dialogue for Josie. Uh, Axel sometimes would not initiate dialogue. Mismatch between voice line and subtitles for Axel. Inky's dialogue where the conversation would end up expect un end ex unexpectedly. Uh, Theo would not play certain voice lines. Uh, voice lines for via uh, Theo. Fixed an issue, it would not cause the current theme to be eligible to per purchase in Axel's notification would appear when Brahmin upgraded through Josie. Fixed an issue where some structure in the IQ could be disabled. I mean, damaged. Uh, let's see. Fixed an issue where the player characters uh, head would clip through the British Red Coat Army uh, V63. Uh, fixed an issue with explosive legendary VFX were not working properly. Um, let's see. I didn't see anything about the V63 itself. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I was just looking down. Uh, trade secrets, fiction issue where some characters were missing a Hornwright senior executive card. Daily quest for refuge. Ball boy information would overlap uh, with quest description. Overseer's mission for players who completed this quest. Dropped overseer's long hollow tapes may now be picked up again. Uh, see custodial com uh, compulsions. Fixed an issue where the other characters would say saltwater Sam's dialogue lines if player was in a specific part. Duty calls fixed an issue where brain jars were missing upon relog, uh, blocking progression. Make it now apparent appropriately says romantic slash flirty dialogue lines to players who have romanced him. Uh, weapons. Uh, ticket of Revenge is now in... T oh, okay, they brought back the Ticket of re uh, Revenge bit. Okay, let's go. Uh, Death Claw hand is no longer returned when scrapping an item that... Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, dang it, Bobby. Oh, but again, like I say, even though we enjoyed it for quite some time, especially in making, um, you know, ah, dang it, dang it, Bobby Boucher. Uh, but you know, make things work as intended. I'm, I am a wholeheartedly on that one. I've got no problem with it. Fixed an issue where the tenderizer with a standard mod would display the tenderizers, tenderizer. <laughs> I remember seeing some of that on Twitter. Uh, fixed an issue where the three star melee weapons could sometimes spawn with reload speed. Oh, come on. I want some of those cursed weapons back. Let me have that, please. I know. I'm one of those weirdos that asked for that. Uh, Headhunter being re renamed to uh, Headhunter Scythe, uh, consistent with the weapon, V63. Uh, now benefits from the science perk, uh, card family science. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go. Uh, enemy minigun audio should no longer continue. Oh, let's go. Did they finally fix that for eviction notice? Is that what is that referring? It doesn't say eviction notice, but like it's just for anybody. So we'll have to try to get an eviction notice and try that out. Uh, lever action uh, where the compensator mod did not display correctly with various paints. Uh, miscellaneous fixes addressed various typos in the new legendary crafting help menus atomic shot fixed an issue where a cursor would disappear after making a purchase begging now apparent okay we already got that one uh creatures now have increased a uh, chance to drop meat cultist uh, dungeon outfit 
uh, mismatched skin textures, fixed spelling error, fireproof. Uh, if a uh, color mirror balls are not emanating light correctly, players were sometimes not receiving contextual ammo drops in expeditions. Well, that's good to fix right there. Uh, fixed an issue where backpack skins would display their names multiple times. Fixed an issue with Living Love 3 would increase the benefit from non healing. Um, so, okay, we already got that fixed. Uh, Augwood would still be vulnerable after retreating. Yeah, I've been noticing that. And, like, they would retreat to the shell, but they could still get damaged. So, look, I'm fine with, like I said, like I said, make the game work as intended. Um, you know, whether that takes away things that we've been utilizing for years, like the magazines. Um, I'm going to be real with you. Even take my uh, excavator power armor set and make it to where the jetpack doesn't work on it. I don't care. Make it work as intended. But also, while you're doing that, make the game work as intended elsewhere uh as well uh let's see uh fix an issue pit boy would not update correctly when switching between weapons with the same name uh fix an issue where the tutorial fly out and help menu displayed incorrect key binds for collecting power armor chassis uh notes where the exit command was improperly being displayed in the notes uh lighting issues with the burning mine location uh preservation shelter players should no longer become trapped in the doors uh, removed vendor window from Johnny Bills at the Blue Ridge Bunkhouse. Speculative fix. Uh, free daily rerollers should now reset at the same time as challenges. Mine has been resetting at the same time as challenge. I don't know. Um, oh, wait, no. They have been resetting at the, the hour later with um, with that going on. Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they've been doing it at the same time as script and stuff like that. Uh, the shadow person haunting the cliffs near Lake Eloise has been banished. I didn't see that one. Uh, Thrasher backpack fix an issue that could cause the backpack to become static. All right, so let's see. 